Hello, today's topic is touch probe or in fact print mark or any sensor detection where we are using exactly some kind of a sensor to capture a position. Now there are two ways to capture position. You can capture position inside the controller or you can capture position inside the drive. Today we will show you how to capture position inside the drive when for example you detect certain print mark on the feeding material. Why is it better to capture position in the drive? The drive is capable of capturing with very high precision plus minus couple of microseconds and then you need to transfer this data to a controller over communication and then you can use it. Now before we begin I do not have any sensor so then I had like IQ 200 idea there are digital outputs on our drive and I can connect the digital output directly to our input. Let's briefly go to manual of the drive. Now here on page 129 you can see IO connectors and what I've done, hmm, let's take a snipping tool for the moment. Uh, this is the fastest way. So I have power supply 24 volts. And I supplied plus with DQ com. I supplied minus with DI com. And then let's use red pen. I connected DQ2 with capture input 1 or digital input 1. And that's it. Three wires for our I.O. Let's go back to the software. Now we are back and now we need to control this digital output. And luckily by default in our mapping of the master, let's open master drive. We can see that we have IODQ set. So this is setting of our digital outputs. And we can see in IO act exactly our input. So if we go to mapping, if we open DQ set, bit 2 is setting our digital output 2 and bit 0 is our digital input 0 or capture input 1. So let's try this, control F7 and we see that it works. Now what we need to do is create a piece of code and visualization for our function blocks and then I will explain afterwards everything else. And that's it, we can load this program and I will explain everything. Let's run. Okay, if we go now to our program, we have two function blocks. One is called touch probe or MC touch probe and one is abort trigger. Now we connected it to the master axis and we have this trigger input structure where we predefined one parameter which is called trigger number and by default it's minus one but zero equals capture input one one equals capture input two this is valid thing to know 
and it's already by default fast latching which means that we are capturing a position in the drive furthermore by default the drive is capturing on a falling edge so that means when we set our digital output to to false the capturing will take place the position is going to be transferred to controller and afterwards controller or soft motion axis will recalculate this position that at the end we finish with axis position in our software now let's simulate this first let's enable a drive and run it in certain velocity velocity acceleration deceleration we will not use slave axis and we execute move velocity now our drive is running and it's still modulo two and a half thousand if i'm not mistaken now we enable our touch probe and the touch probe is waiting for the trigger now we go to our master drive and let's put it side by side we will simply set our digital output and see what will happen so if we set it nothing happens because it was a rising edge but if we go back we see that our touch probe is done and the captured position is 240 something if we remove execute everything is reset we execute again and we are waiting again for a falling edge now it's 2319 something if you execute touch probe and there is no touch probe and in your state machine you say okay after certain position don't capture i want to end this capturing you remove the execute but still touch probe is working and it's waiting for a touch probe how to abort this you need to execute mc abort trigger and now the touch probe is reset and now you can execute again this is how you use the touch probe if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one where we will reuse our touch probe function blocks bye